Good evening. Welcome to the program. I'm Amanda Stoker. There's one issue that looms over all others in the lives of Australians right now, and that is the cost of living. At the supermarket checkout, at the school gate, and in meetings between small businesses and their people and their accountants. Well, the pressure is really being felt. It breaks my heart when I hear businesses tell me they can't afford to take on another staff member, or a young person say that they've basically given up on the chance of buying their own home. Inflation in this country is high. In the December quarter, the headline inflation rate was 7.8%. That's the highest it has been in 30 years. Well, now that he's achieved that record, we should hope and pray that Treasurer Chalmers, the guy with the PhD in love for Paul Keating, isn't also planning to give us the kind of recession Keating gave us, or the 18% interest rates that sent so many hardworking families to the wall. The same people who complained for the whole of the coalition's time in government that wages weren't going up fast enough are now responsible for inflation that makes any wages growth pale in comparison to inflation. And for those people who don't get a raise, well, in real terms, they're headed a long way backwards. What matters less is how fast our wages go up, but how far they go day to day. And right now, they're not going very far at all.